Michael St. John at ringside here at the Music City Arena, Nashville, Tennessee at the fairground. MCW Wrestling referee Gene Johnson giving the instructions to these two men. Trailer Park Trash in action against Iron Man Rob Conway. And Conway has made quite a name for himself since coming to MCW. He's been teaming of recent with uh, Nick Densmore. They not only look alike, they're sort of built alike, and the fans have really taken a shine to this young team. They lock it up. Oh, no. Nice drop down by Trailer Park Trash. Takes the side headlock. Tell you, this Trailer Park Trash, he is a, an elusive wrestler to say the least. You never know what's on this guy's mind. He may come in one day and just go like a house of fire and come right at you, and then the next match, he may stay out of the ring and not want to wrestle. Conway trying to come up. Look at this. Reverses it into a standing wrist lock, and Trailer Park Trash pulls him back down into the side headlock. Your referee, Gene Johnson, one fall, 15 minute time limit match as we get things underway from the Nashville Fairgrounds Arena. I want to remind you that the Tojo Yamamoto Memorial Card is coming up next week on April 4th in Nashville, Tennessee, including a four-way dance for the Tag Team Championship. The belts held up by promoter Burt Prentice from the Tennessee Volunteers. They will be involved in the match. We know that. But Burt Prentice, the promoter, I think being very shrewd, he is keeping the identity of the other three teams unknown. But we will announce it next week here on television as they will be in the match along with the Tennessee Volunteers. And by the way, the Volunteers are absolutely irate at Prentice for keeping a secret, if you would, as to who those three teams will be. And of course, by not knowing, they're unable to scout them or to find out information on them. It makes, uh, makes it a little rougher road to hoe for the Tennessee Vols. Four-way dance for the tag title next week here at the Nashville Fairgrounds Arena. Right there, Trailer Park Trash. Getting into it with some of the fans as Iron Man Rob Conway looks on, ready to lock it up again. Conway was trained by Danny Davis. Of course, Danny, a very popular wrestler, one of the nightmares at one time, also a very prudent manager in the sport of professional wrestling, and one time had uh, the man that ended up being a honky-tonk man and uh, Larry Latham, who ended up being one of the Moondogs. And he trained those two and was quite successful back in the early 80s with that team. Then he went on to success on his own as a nightmare, and he has become quite a trainer and quite a uh, prolific uh, purveyor, if you would, of wrestling talent. Look at that chop by Trailer Park Trash, and Conway goes down. Also want to remind you next week with the uh, uh, advent of the Tojo Yamamoto Memorial Card at the Nashville Fairgrounds Arena, the 20-man Mega Rumble for the North American title. That means that there'll be 20 men in the match the winner left standing will win the North American title. It'll start out with two men in the ring, and then at every one-minute interval, another wrestler will enter the ring. And I'm sure you're thinking to yourself, that's got to be an advantage for the last one or two or three people in the ring, and absolutely it would be. But at the same time, it really doesn't matter because the adrenaline and the juices will be flowing for this one because all 20 men want that title. There you see Trailer Park Trash going to work on Rob Conway. Iron Man Rob Conway. I've seen him in tag team action. This is my first opportunity to see him in competition in a singles event. And he is having a rough go of it at the hands of Trailer Park Trash. Referee calling for the break. And Trailer Park Trash now just going to toss him outside of the ring. Also want to remind you next week, the Tojo Yamamoto Memorial Card Fairgrounds Arena, Nashville, Tennessee. Big ladies match, Deborah Combs, uh, Princess D, if you would. She'll be taking on Burt's Surprise. Again, promoter Burt Prentice keeping it under wraps as to who he's going to bring in the ring against uh, Princess D, if you would. And one more reminder, Christmas Chaos tapes are on sale if you want to order them. Contact MCW. You got the number. You can contact us on the World Wide Web. Also, order them today. They're going fast. In fact, not a whole lot remain. www.mcwrestling.com to order your Christmas Chaos tapes. Nice sunset flip over the top rope by Conway. He had him down for the count of two. But Trailer Park Trash escaping the pinning combination. And going right back after Rob Conway. Conway throwing one from his knees, but Trailer Park Trash just nailing him with the elbow right there. Referee Gene Johnson watching intently the battle. Good crowd on hand tonight here at the Fairgrounds Arena in Nashville. If you're missing the action live, you are really missing something. We want you to be sure to attend the matches when they come to your area and be sure to check out the Tojo Yamamoto Memorial Card coming up April 4th in the Fairgrounds Arena in Nashville, Tennessee 
I know we've gotten inquiries from as far away as Cleveland, Ohio, and Baltimore, Maryland. People coming down for this big event here for MCW. Conway caught in the bear hug. Trailer Park Trash does not have that really locked properly. He needs to have him extend it up over and off his feet, but he didn't have it, and as a result, Conway able to break it off the ropes. Oh, sleeper hold. Trailer Park Trash has Iron Man Mike Conway in the sleeper and has him caught. So Trailer Park Trash taking a match right to Conway and wrestling strength for strength with the young man. And I'm a little surprised that he's been able to maintain and he may get the combination right here and get Conway out. He, uh, no, he breaks it. Now that's what I was talking about with Trailer Park Trash. Unpredictable, just when you think he's got a winning combination, a submission or a pin count, or in that case, a sleeper hole attached. You would think he would just stay with it, but no. He's just unorthodox and unpredictable in that way. TPT to the top rope. Coming off. Oh, wow, what's he doing? Dancing up there, boom, out of the way. Iron Man, Rob Conway moved at the right time. And TPT found his bottom right there on the mat. Conway being worked over in the corner. Taken out across the way and moving out of the way. Good move by Con Conway moving in. One to the midsection, there's another one. He's got things going his way. He's turning the tide in this match right here against TPT. Trailer Park Trash caught in the corner. He had the match won and he left the hole. He just let it go for some reason. There's the big clothesline. And Trailer Park Trash is down. Conway goes for the count. One, got the count of two and that was it. Referee Gene Johnson right on top of things in the ring. Across the way, back body drop. Up and down he goes. Conway moving in. One, two, and again a near pin. And Iron Man Rob Conway doing the damage right now on TPT. Trailer Park Trash, power slam. Let's see if he can hold him for the three. One, two, nope, got the two again. That's three times in a row. It looked like he had pinning combinations and Trailer Park Trash out from underneath all three times. Conway, I tell you, had the win knocked out of his sails in the early going and he has tried to mount a comeback, and thus far, here's the roll up from the corner. One, two, three, he got it. And Iron Man Rob Conway gets the victory impressively on a nice comeback against Trailer Park Trash. More MCW wrestling action is coming your way. Saturday, April 4th at the Nashville Fairgrounds Sports Arena. MCW presents the Tojo Yamamoto Memorial Card a tribute to one of the greatest pioneers in professional wrestling. Help us celebrate the life of Tojo Yamamoto with Nashville's hottest wrestling lineup ever. The Tojo Yamamoto Memorial Card, Saturday, April 4th at the Nashville Fairgrounds Sports Arena. <laughs> 